Mm-hmm. So what what are we eating tonight? What what vegan cuisine are we in are we <clears throat> indulging tonight? Well, <laughs> so I must say that if, if you don't have an air fryer by now, for anybody watching this later on YouTube or IGTV, if you don't have an air fryer by now, what are you waiting for? The deals are there. There's good options there. Just get one. You'll be happy with it. I use mine daily. But but what I have tonight in, you know, tonight's air fryer, excuse me, air fryer cuisine, excuse my belch. Uh, I have a combination of white onions, a red bell pepper, and some mushrooms. Also, uh, I have, I didn't put this in air fryer, but I have some seitan as well. Homemade, by the way. What is that? Uh, the best way to describe it is what some people would sometimes call it a uh, wheat meat. And basically what it is, it's basically the, uh, the gluten from wheat. If you, you can actually buy it and it's kind of weird. If you open the bag of it up or whatever, it looks like flour, but the consistency, you can definitely, definitely tell it's more like gluten ish, but the good thing about that is that's where the protein in wheat is. So with it extracted, basically it acts as a protein source. And I tell you what, if you just Google seitan recipes, what some people do with seitan, as far as looks, and I'm sure the taste is probably similar, is like amazing. It's like, like, wow. I'm, I'm not that. I'm not like that. You know, good with it. I just found a simple recipe I can make. You know, so but yeah, that's what it is. I feel like one, it's impressive that somebody, you know, was able to compile that and make something, you know, you know, viable, nutritional, nutritionally. And then two, to be able to, you know, build build from there and actually make recipes, that's pretty cut pretty good. I mean, I'll tell you what, bro. <clears throat> I've seen people oh, again, this is all looks only. I've seen people make like a like make into like a baked ham looking kind of a thing. Like a pot roast, I've seen like fried chicken looking stuff. I'm like, it doesn't sound like it'd be that hard to do, which I'm sure it isn't. But I've never actually tried it. But, but yeah, so. Good stuff. Absolutely. Yeah. I. And, I, and real quick, and lastly, weight per weight, I ounce per ounce. There's actually more protein in this than animal flesh. So there you go. Well, not not that I'm I actually I'm not promoting protein because I think our this country's stance or protein hype is way overboard and overblown and overhyped. But Why? Is, you feel that way because people we have the mindset that we it's all about protein, 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 and the whole bullshit about oh you got to have a got to eat as much protein you know for every pound of body weight that you have. I'm like no, that's fucking stupid. No, you don't. Did you know, Terrence, that just for pure survival and body function, the body really only needs fifty about about fifty ish grams of protein a day, fifty to sixty, depending on you know certain other factors. Well, I always and obviously, obviously if you're into training and working out, you don't need more. But the whole pound per body weight bullshit, that's for like like elite athletes, those people who use their body for physical competition. Again, NBA players, NFL, even bodybuilders, shit like that. But Joe fucking Schmo going to fucking Planet Fucking Fitness. 